A big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today's correction will be on these nails here. I'll be strengthening them in gel, creating a fun summer design, and most importantly dealing with this nail here. Is it onycholysis? We'll find out here soon. I've taken down the prior coating and further I'm cleaning up. My client's skin and cuticle is rather rough, therefore I'll need to use a bit with medium abrasion. I'll be using the cylinder bit as it's perfect for completing three different tasks. Cleaning up the dry cuticle, filing the natural nail, and further buffing up the signs. I really prefer cleaning up this area with my nail drill and not nippers, as sometimes nippers are just too harsh. Of course, I'm only filing down those small raised areas and rough spots, but nothing more. It's really important not to overdo this part. After cleaning up with rougher abrasion, I'm switching to a flame bit with softer abrasion and cleaning up underneath the cuticle. After cleaning up with the flame bit, I'm taking a pair of small cuticle scissors and carefully snipping off the cuticle. So what happened to her nail? As some of you may be thinking, is it onycholysis? Well, the answer is no, and how can we tell? If this was onycholysis, the lateral folds would be lifted. The nail plate itself would be lifting from the nail bed. If we look at the right side of her finger and the lateral fold, there's practically nothing that her nail could hang on to. In other words, this is just how my client's nails are naturally. Well, more accurately, the nail bed. Of course, our nails are attached only to our nail beds, and my client's nail bed is rather short. So this area over here is only lifted because there's nothing for it to hang on to. This is completely natural and unique to my client, but it's not lifting off the nail bed and nothing serious. So we're continuing by prepping her nails for today's coating. I'm dehydrating her nails, applying a primer, and then a thin layer of a base coat. Why a thin layer? Because I'll be strengthening her nails with a filter gel. A typical builder gel with medium viscosity, which I'll be using to level out her nails as I normally would with a base coat. As some of you may have noticed, I haven't filed her nails yet, and I planned on doing this only after applying the gel. This way everything will be super nice and even, and we'll have that precise line on the edges. And just look at how pretty they already are. Now for our design. My client just couldn't decide which color she wanted, and since they all look so pretty together and actually complement each other, we decided to use all five colors.
The second layer of this polish has such a cool effect. It gives it so much more depth and kind of reminds me of marble. Now just to finish with a few details and decode these beautiful nails and a top coat. And here they are. I think this set turned out so pretty. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.